To determine if CF4 is polar or nonpolar, we need first to look at the Lewis structure. This will tell us where the electrons are around the outside of the molecule, and it'll help us determine the shape and polarity. So here's the Lewis structure for CF4. In general, it looks like a symmetrical molecule. You can see the fluorines on each side of the carbon atom. But we need to look at the three-dimensional structure to see how those fluorine atoms are going to spread out and give us the shape of this CF4 molecule. This is a model for CCL4, which is very similar to CF4. So we can see that the, the atoms are spread out as far away from each other as they can be, while still remaining bonded to that central carbon. There is a difference in electronegativity between the fluorines and the carbon, but because each of those fluorine atoms is pointing in the exact opposite direction, they'll cancel out and there'll be no net dipole. If we look at the surface of the molecule, we can see that there's really no area of charge. It's equal throughout the surface of the molecule. That means that CF4 is a nonpolar molecule. There's no poles, there's no net dipole, and so it's nonpolar. This is Dr. B with the polarity for CF4, and thanks for watching.